Hello, so are you looking for a Power BI report for the World Cup? I've got you covered. We have finalized the report today and uh, I am going to present it to you in this video. Stay tuned, I'll be back in a second. So hello and welcome back. I hope you are having a blast having doing this Power BI report. I had a lot of fun. I had a little bit too much fun, so I'm a little bit behind with some other things. But, but, what to do? Um, in today's video, I am actually going to present you the final version. There are some things that I have done in the Power BI file that I haven't showed you in the video. So let me know if you wanna, if you want me to go through those parts too. The Power BI file is available for download. Okay, so just go ahead and download it if you want to. And uh, I'll be back at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation and let me know what you think of the Power BI report, okay? I'll see you at the end. Okay, so welcome to the Power BI report for the World Cup series. Yes, finally. <laughs> okay, so I'm finally able to present the final report and uh, you have the possibility to download this report the link is down below in case you want to grab it and use it during the world caps if you want to build it yourself here's a link okay to the videos that will i'll surely show you how this was built most of it at least um so let's see how this thing works um what you have here is, you know, you have links to the different tabs uh, and you have also a filter for the group and a filter for the team. So if you click, for example, on group B and then you click on standings, it will take you to the standings page and group B filter will be kept. The same is with players, if we would go to players or if you would go to matches, everything is just group B, which is very, very useful, right? If you say, oh, no, I don't want group B, I want group A, you see, there was a home button. So if we go group A, we go to matches. What are those matches? And then you can see it here. And then I said, oh, I want to see all the matches. You can click on research. I said, no, I actually want to go and filter by, I don't know, G. Group G and want to see the matches. And you'll see that too. You, you have, of course, for the groups, I make it available here too, because I think you will need it here. You don't want to go back and forth all the time. So reset, home. Really nice, right? Okay, so let's continue. We go to B, we go to standings. What can you see here? So here you will see actually the points that the teams get. This page is connected live to the FIFA site so when you refresh this report the data will come in so yesterday russia played right so let's remove this one so you, you will see that uh, where are you russia my lord russia is playing on team group a so here you have it so you see the points and you will be able to actually get some information about how the teams are doing by itself against all others or just within the group. So now we have way, way, way too little data to actually do anything. But as soon as it comes, you will see that when you click, for example, on Russia, this will um, give you information about how Russia is doing against people in the team in the group but if you remove the group it will give you the information of how russia is doing let me see where are you russia how russia is doing against the entire team or, or groups or, or teams you know so you will see against everything or against its group um, and this will color differently. You, you'll see now there's too little data to actually see it, but it's quite cool. So let's reset the filters. And let's say that we are in, I don't know, Argentina. You want to know who is playing. So you can right click, drill through and go to players. And now you will know here everything you want to know about players. Okay. 
So you will see uh, which group they are playing. You'll see their shirt name. There is information about their actual name too, if you wanna. You will see the height, the age, the club they are playing, and this is the position. So here you have a map. So it says goalkeeper, defender, midfield. This is actually one of these, you know, that you're supposed to be able to click here and filter in there. It's not working yet. But I'm going to release it. That is, you can fix it yourself if you want. So you should be able to filter by goalkeeper or defense. Another thing that you can do is actually you can filter by. You might think that you're filtering by color, but you are not. Do you see that there is numbers underneath? So if you click in here, you will see how many goalkeepers they have, how many defenders, and so on. You see how many players. You see from how many clubs the players come from and where the origins of the club are. You can see that here. I think it's quite cool because it actually very quickly gives you an idea of, you know, where are the Argentina players playing when they are doing their normal jobs, you know? So you can see it here. And the size of the ball is the number of players in each country. So, for example, Argentina has a lot of players in Italy. And of course, you know, I remove all the headers because I find them so annoying, so you won't be able to show data. Come on, give it to me. Yeah, so you will be able to see here all the information that you need and expand. Here you can see how old the team or the group is. So 18 are between 25 and 32. They have three between 19 and 25, and two between 32 and older than that. So, yeah, th this is quite cool, isn't it? So here you can again read through to matches. Let's say, well, I want to know when Argentina is playing. Hey, you have it here. So you can reset this, and you can say, today is Friday. Who is playing today? And there you have it. Well, I should have the time in here. Uh, so you can see at what time they are playing, right? Perhaps you want to see day and time, but you can change that. Then you can, you know, reset the filters and uh, you can say, I want to know what's going on, match, you know, group B, there is the group that I'm following, I don't care about the other ones. You can see here the days and you can see here where they come from. Cooler. So let's reset the filter and then we go to the knockout phase and the knockout phase is what we build on part four and five and no three and five I think and this is basically will populate as the matches go on. So what you see now is that because Russia played yesterday and one, Russia is already classified in our knockout phase. So you can see it here and there and there and there. But this will change as the teams play. And, you know, when all the phases are done, then we will see here who they, who is going to play the final. So this is basically it. Okay, so what do you think about the report? I think it's the first time you see a final report from me. You know, I'm always doing the bits and pieces to get to the end, but I don't think I'm never showing you from the beginning to the end. So there you you have seen not everything. You know, there are some parts like the players. Uh, I haven't shown how I did that, and perhaps we should do a power query challenge on that. I'm thinking about that. Um, the visualization part I haven't done either. Uh, let me know if you want to have those videos, so I will make them. Uh, but uh, you, you, you've seen most of it, anyhow, of uh, the journey. So I had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I'm, I, you are telling me that you are doing Power BI reports too. And I think it would be absolutely fantastic to see them. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to publish mine in the Power BI gallery. And I think it would be fantastic if you could publish yours so we could all see your work too. Um, so how about we, you know, you go there, you publish them and tag them something with Kerbal. So I know this you made with the data and we can check them out. Perhaps we can make a video about your uh, Power BI reports. That would be a lot of fun. Anyhow, let me know what you think about the report. It would be super fun to know. Um, 
it is Friday, the World Cup starts for real today, so make sure you grab a cup of beer and, and enjoy it. And if you're using the report, make sure you take a picture and you show me on Twitter or LinkedIn or whatever you are, it would be a lot of fun. Um, 